Hello and welcome everyone to the session where we'll talk about managing dynamic risk associated with your critical fixed asset. In today's operating environment, it's not enough to base uh, your future inspection plans just based on your previous inspection histories. It is essential to understand the process and operating conditions and also the related damage mechanism to have a high confidence inspection program. And just because of that, American Petroleum Institute have a standard API RP584 to operationalize the integrity operating window program. So the value to a customer is obviously it will help you reduce unplanned failures and also improve the overall reliability of your plant. This is very important for some of the critical damage mechanisms like creep and other high corrosive inter internal corrosion damage mechanisms. With that, I'll get into the application. For this example, as mentioned, I'll go with a heater so that we can talk about the damage mechanism of creep. So I have selected the asset and the modules or the application that we'll use uh, for integrity operating window as asset health manager. Once I navigate to the asset health manager view for this asset, you can see that I've set up the heater outlet temperature as one of the parameter that I'm monitoring for the creep damage mechanism. Outlet temperature is one of the most critical parameters that impacts this damage mechanism. And as you can see that I can bring this data from your process historians and track what is its current health level, whether it's in a green or whether it's uh, in a warning state or what, whether it's in an alert state. And within APM, you can define various alert levels. So now I can see that for this example, the heater outlet temperature is in a warning zone. But what APM can do different here is we can go one step ahead and use this data to calculate the probability of failure for the creep damage mechanism as per your risk based inspection methodology. And for doing that. We can use the policy designer to define your logic to calculate the creep probability of failure. So in this example, you can see that I have defined an entire policy which checks the temperature. It compares it with the creep temperature based on the metallurgy. It calculates the age and then finally calculates the probability of failure. So it's not you know, just checking the limits of the parameter, but what we can do here is go one step ahead and calculate the probability of failure so that the risk analyst can take better actions based on this information. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also have prescriptive actions which can be sent to different personas. So based on the limits, we can notify your operator or you can even notify your inspector or your risk analyst. So each of the three personas may have different action to take and we can predefine that with an APM module. And using this, you know, applications and asset health manager and policy designer, you can have a very matured integrity operating program with an APM. And if you have any questions, please do contact. <laughs>